All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters, and today we're taking a look here at some ideas that I personally have uh, for the next data mine, the next Master Fairs, maybe? Uh, not too sure, but uh, to keep things... Uh, it, why the hell? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, to keep things simple, I think there is a realistic prospect of Kalos getting uh some big spotlight next month as master fairs i i don't know maybe um but i think that at the very least we could get some callous stuff uh next month for a few separate reasons uh that i kind of mostly like tin foiled hat together in my head but in the but it also kind of makes sense so why do i think we're gonna get cow stuff well for one we might get some news next month over pokemon legends uh za whatever it's called um that's obviously i mean we generally get stuff in august instead of june but maybe they'll do some little teaser thing or something and, and they're like kind of may maybe planning for that i don't know could be something could be nothing again this is like tinfoil hat level theories here uh and my main uh, thing with that is that it could back up a claim of why we could be getting so much potential callus related stuff in masters for one, again, to continue outside of Masters, we did get this artwork here for the uh, Project Voltage thing, which has been going on for how long now? Like a year or something? I don't even remember. It's been a while that this stuff with uh, Hatsune Miku has been going on for uh, Pokemon. And they did it for Zygarde, right? This is probably some sort of allusion to ZA. Maybe not like a hint. Obviously not like a hint or anything, but potentially could be something related to ZA. Um, for whatever reason, like, because, you know, Kalos is in the hype season right now due to the game releasing next year whatever so there could be that uh, i just wanted to point this out that we did get this artwork uh, a few days ago you know back on the 9th um also in the last data mine which uh was of course you know last month for april or for may but it was in april we got florgis we got a florgis in the uh, data mine florgis could have been an enemy i don't think it is though Generally, I believe whenever there are enemy sync pairs, they don't really add the icon. This icon is only ever added if you can actually, like, kind of view uh, that Pokemon in, like, the sync pair screen. And what more relevant of a trainer that uses Florgis than Trevor, right? We got Shauna and Tierna already in the game. Could get Florgis. I believe, not with 100% certainty, that we did get Crawdont uh, back when uh, Tierna released, or back a month before Tierna released, rather. Like, if we look at the Pokemon here, I don't think there was Crawdont in it. Yeah, Crawdont's not in uh, the month for March, which we did get uh, Tierno in, right? Uh, but I think if we go back and look at February, I believe we got uh, Crawdont in this update, or Crawdont added to the screen. Can I scroll better than that? Uh, yeah, we got Crawdont right here, right here. <laughs> We got Crawdon in the screen on February, so the fact that we're getting Florgis uh, here in the May data mine could allude to getting Trevor in the June uh, data mine, which is honestly probably the most likely thing to happen out of all of what I'm trying to state here. Uh, so that's very interesting to see that we got Florgis in the data mine, uh, so Trevor could be coming next month, probably to finish out the Kalos Spotlight Trio, which would be nice. Uh, second, uh, not second, what, like fucking third point at this, at this point, third or fourth point? Uh, we got this little 4 megabyte update a few days ago, back on the 7th, uh, which it added the daily paid login bonuses for August, early September, nothing, yeah, th this is nothing new, it's basically them adding the slots, uh, for these login bonuses, so that, like, when you log into the game, stuff will actually happen, they tend to update this stuff sometime in advance, uh, and so they were just doing that now. And also, Zygarde cells will auto-sell for one coin instead of zero, which might or might not hint for a Signature Suit Serena event, uh, in the future. A rerun of the Signature Suit Serena event. I never played for the Signature Suit Serena event. I'm going to assume that Zygarde cells were some exchangeable currency or something, or like some collectible item, whatever it may have been. Uh, so that would make the most sense, right? And now they're going to be exchangeable for coins. Them updating this makes very little sense unless they actually have a plan to use them in the future. So we could get more Zygarde cells for either a Signature Suit Serena rerun event or from a different event that may revolve around Zygarde, which of course with ZA coming up in 2025, we'll probably be getting some sort of events related to Zygarde around that time or maybe, you know, when they start actually adding ZA content. Whether that be 2026, late 2025, whatever, right? So, them updating the uh, cells for Zygarde is very interesting. There is definitely a possibility that they could, obviously, rerun Signature Suit Serena's event next month alongside her. Why would they do that? I don't know. Signature Suit Serena's rerun hasn't been that old. It's like eight months ago, which 
I guess that's a little bit long, but there's been a lot of other massacres that have gone longer so far. Uh, so I don't know why they'd rerun Serena specifically, and sp and also her event, which they haven't done for a while. But hey, if they do rerun the event, that's awesome. So uh, that'd be good for sure. So the potential rerun of the Signature Serena event is looming, I guess. Uh, combined with uh, Trevor's Florgis, potentially Trevor's Florgis, right, being added this data mine, and also potentially, I guess, tinfoil hat little evidence of the Hatsune Miku project thing, project voltage thing, with Zygarde in it, uh, could all be maybe alluding to a uh, Kalos related uh, June, or potentially with the Master Fairs. Now, who would be the Master Fairs? Uh, or who would be the characters? I got no idea. Look, all right, if it were to come, to come down to Master Fairs, I've got no clue, because we already have three Kalos Master Fairs, uh, and there are definitely other options, right? I mean, it's definitely fair to give... That's not... It's definitely fair to give Kalos more Master Fairs. Only having three, uh, three is a pretty good number, but obviously, <laughs> ignore the fact that we got the three Battle Shadowlands, right? Um, we only have the two Serenas and Kalos. But also thinking about it, what other Kalos characters could be applicable for Master Fair status. Diantha is fair, right? But also there's the prospect it could be Neo Champions, which would mostly take out Diantha. And even including Diantha, who else, right? Like, who else could be a Kalos Master Fair? Uh, like, I don't... Could prove me wrong, of course, but like, Sycamore? Maybe? Like, Shauna? Maybe? I mean, I don't know. These characters, in my opinion, don't really, like, resemble Master Fair status, but of course, if they really wanted to, they could sell them as Master Fairs. I don't think we can, we'll be getting new, another Serena as a Master Fair. A third Master Fair Serena would be just fucking insane. The, the monopoly that this chick has over the Kalos Master Fairs would be crazy. Kalem would be... <laughs> Kalem would be struggling. Uh, not that he already isn't. Um, could get a second Master Fair Kalem, I guess, but also at the same time, I feel that would be weird for the four Kalos Master Fairs to be two of the same, two of the protagonists, right? Um, and if it were to be a double batch of, uh, of Master Fairs, I guess, you know, two Master Fairs, my best bet, or my, uh, an idea that I'm going to put out there would be maybe, uh, Cygnus Suit Kalem and Cygnus Suit Shauna. No, I guess, right? I've got no clue. Uh, if they were to do Kalos Master Fairs, I'm early to who, sure on who would uh, who would it would be for. Diantha again is like an idea that I have, but also at the same time, could be Neo Champions, which would just uh, remove that from there. Again, also consider Kalos already has Neo Champions, but could could just do more. Why not? Uh, but if it is Kalos and it's not Neo Champions, that does open up a lot of ideas for potentially Kalem getting a Cygnus suit, or Shauna getting a Cygnus suit, Diantha getting a Cygnus suit, uh, maybe Sycamore getting a Cygnus suit, <laughs> giving us another Lysander maybe as a Master Fair, giving us a villain Master Fair, that'd be funny. I don't think we have a villain Master Fair, do we? I guess Lusamine. Lusamine does not count. I don't care what you say, she does not count. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, either way. Kalos could be coming up next month. Could be nice. Uh, I think at the very least, if we are getting Kalos stuff next month, I could definitely see a Pokefair release of some characters. Like, again, Shauna and Kalem, I think, could be two pretty hype Cygnus suits uh, for being Pokefair level or something. If they're not going to be Master Fair, then do that. Uh, or maybe they'll release uh, Cygnus suit Shauna as a Master Fair and then another non Kalos Master Fair. Who knows? Really, there's a lot of different ideas uh, that they could throw around, but just basically what I wanted to mention was tinfoil hat theory. We've got Florges that could be uh, potentially coming next month. We've got the potential rerun of the Cygnus Suit Serena event. we got this Miku Project Voltage thing that was that happened at the same time as well. And then uh, I'm pretty sure there were some other things that I had in my head uh, that I forgot about while making this video, but... Either way, Kalos has, is in need of new characters for the most part. Like, most other regions have gotten some form of love recently. Kalos has gotten Spotlight, Free Unit, and then Holiday Units back five months ago. So I feel like it's kind of fair uh, to try and give Kalos a little bit more love now. And even before Holiday Sycamore and Viola. Free, free, general pool, general pool, free. And then you had Special Custom Shauna back in April of last year, so over a year ago. So I feel like Kalos could definitely use some more upgrades uh, from its release. Like, obviously, like the frogs and Lysander and whatnot, those were some big buffs. Emma was good. Cygnus and Serena is still good. I mean, there's still a lot of good Kalos characters. But at the same time, could be time for some more uh, characters from the region. 
especially with the fact that we have ZA on the uh, loom, right, uh, coming up potentially. So maybe we'll be getting a trailer for ZA sometime next month, and maybe they're going to be releasing Kalos characters to maybe coincide with that. Big tinfoil hat theory, you know, aliens are coming. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, that could be very interesting for sure. And I, I'm definitely uh, pretty hyped at the prospect of us potentially getting uh, some more Kalos stuff whether it be Master Fairs or Polka Fairs or whatever, maybe next month, uh, Trevor, at the very least, should be coming. I mean, who, why else would you add Florges to the files? Orange Florges specifically, which is the one that Trevor uses, right? It's an orange Florges. Probably to coincide with this orange hair. Ginger hair. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts. That's all, all I really wanted to put out was the fact that there could be some new Kalos stuff coming up. Want to know what people think down in the comments below. Could we be getting new Kalos Neo Champions just to replace our first set? Uh, could it be new Cygna suits? Could it just be a random batch of Kalos characters? Maybe it won't even be any uh, alternate outfits. It'll just be like Trevor and then um, fucking, I don't know, Morgan. Uh, what other Kalos characters? Get Dexio and Cena, right? I think they, they haven't been in the game, but also they could be a Lola. Depends on what they want to do there. Either way. <laughs> could be some Kalos stuff coming next month. Let's hope. Or not hope, I guess, if you're a Kalos hater. Or not hope if you are broken, you're a Kalos fan. I don't know. At the very least, maybe, maybe we'll get some Legend ZA news. Hopefully. Probably not. They'll probably wait for August until that. But whatever. You can let me hope. And yeah, I'll see you all later. I hope you all enjoyed.